students till now during previous uh, six uh, sessions uh, we have been studied you know different aspects uh, in this chapter number 2 accounting for partnership basic concepts this will be the last session for this chapter in this session uh, we will be discussing different questions which may come under different sections uh, for your examination so there are you know total 9 marks are allotted for this chapter which is divided like this from section a one mark one question will be asked from section b two marks one question will be asked from section c six marks one question will come so total you can expect questions for nine marks coming to section d for 12 marks there are no questions for section d uh, for 12 marks under this chapter and section e practical oriented questions so there are total four questions from this chapter you know which may come under practical oriented uh, questions under section e so let us look at you know what are the different questions that will be asked you know uh, under section a section b and section c for uh, section a one mark you know question you may get questions like uh, true or false type uh, mcq that is multiple choice questions or fill the blank kind of questions or uh, questions for short answer so these types of questions you know can be asked for one mark then coming to section b that is two marks questions you may expect or you you can uh, you know get questions like uh, you know questions on you know meaning of something or uh, you know writing uh, definition of uh, you know partnership uh, and uh, like that or uh, you know questions like uh, state something or give two examples mention uh, you know journal entry etc type of questions can be asked for section b for two marks and uh, you know coming to section c uh, six marks questions there are four possibilities so the first type of question that can be asked for six mark is on preparation of profit and loss appropriation account or you can get one question on preparation of profit and loss appropriation account with guarantee of profits under situation c you may get question on calculation of interest on drawings when fixed amount is withdrawn every month or every quarter that is out of four situations on calculation of interest on drawings situation a and b either a or either b you will get for one partner then last type is calculation of 
you know interest on drawings same topic here also but when you know varying amounts are withdrawn at different intervals in which we apply product method using product method we calculate interest on drawings so that come under situation c under four different situations on interest on drawings so these are the four possibilities you know out of which you may get one question for section c for six marks <coughs> and for section d you will not get any questions and after after looking at all these uh, different sections now we will go to practical oriented questions so there are total 15 practical oriented questions which can be asked out of all chapters in the second pc accountancy uh, textbook so there there is a list of 15 questions in which question number 3 4 5 and 6 are from this chapter that is uh, accounting for partnership basic concepts let us look at each question in detail so the first question here is on how do you treat the following in the absence of a partnership deed we have already studied provisions of indian partnership act 1932 so when a partnership deed is silent we apply these provisions the same question is asked here under practical oriented question number 1 so we have to answer you know uh, for these five uh, different uh, situations that is one uh, what about profit sharing ratio so when the partnership deed is silent profits and losses are equally distributed among partners so that will be the answer equal distribution then second interest on capital in the case of absence of partnership deed no partners are you know entitled to receive any interest on their capitals next interest on drawings so no interest is charged on any drawings made by partners if a partnership deed is silent on that matter and fourth case is interest on advances from partners so when partnership deed is silent regarding payment of interest on loans or advances by partners we have to allow interest at uh, you know the rate of 6% per annum on such advances made by partners and last remuneration to partners for firms work so when partnership deed is silent no partner is allowed to uh, receive or uh, he is not entitled to receive any salary or any remuneration for firm's work so this is the first type of a practical oriented question that can be asked under section e for five marks then second question is like this prepare two partners current accounts under fixed capital system with the five imaginary items for this we can prepare you know partners current accounts like this credit side debit side two amount columns on debit side and credit side particulars uh, we can name them as you no know, partner a partner b particulars uh, partner a partner b so we can write you know opening balance in their current accounts as balance 
brought down say rupees 1 lakh and 80,000 then we can take interest on their capitals say rupees 10,000 for A and 8,000 for B. Next salary, two partners, for example, 6,000 to A and 4,000 to partner B. Next drawings uh, made by A is uh, you know, for example 20,000 and B is you know, 10,000. Next is uh, interest on their drawings say rupees uh, you know, 1,000 for A and uh, uh, say 500 to B and the share of uh, profit during that accounting period we write as a profit and loss of appropriation account for example 8000 for A and 4000 for B. So, we have taken 5 imaginary items and uh, then we can uh, add up to calculate the totals and find out the balance in their current accounts. So, in this case on the credit side you know we have total greater than debit side in this case we have 24,000 I mean 1 lakh 24,000 right same on the debit side 1 lakh 24,000 from that deduct 21,000 answer we get is 1 lakh 3,000. So, that is balance carried down for that accounting period. In the case of B, total we have you know 96,000 which is greater than debit say total. From this deduct 10,500 you get 85,500. So, this is how uh, you know we can prepare uh, partners current accounts under fixed capital uh, system with the 5 imaginary items. Now, after you know, looking at the answer for this question. Next, we will look at question number 3 for practical oriented. Question number 3 that is prepare or write two partners capital accounts under fluctuating capital system with the 5 imaginary uh, figures. So, we have to take two partners say Saumya is the first partner, then Bimal is second partner. So, we can uh, start with the opening balance in their capital accounts, we can write as balance brought down. 3 lakh and 2 lakh. So, when their system of uh, maintaining capital accounts is fluctuating, we prepare only capital accounts with all those adjustments like uh, interest on capital say rupees 3000 for Saumya and uh, 2000 for Bimal. Next is a salary to Saumya and Bimal say 5000 each. Next is 
commission to Saumya say rupees 1000 and Bimal also rupees 1000. Next uh, drawings made by partners will be uh, you know debited to their capital accounts say 10,000 Saumya and the same amount for Bimal and at the end share of profit of that accounting period profit and loss appropriation account say amount rupees 10,000 and rupees 10,000. So next we can do the total and find the balance. On the credit side for Saumya uh, total we have 3 lakh 19 thousand write that total on the debit side from that you deduct 10 thousand drawings balance you get is 3 lakh 9 thousand which is balance carried down for that accounting period in the case of Bimal total comes to 2 lakh 18 thousand write that total on the debit side deduct 10,000 drawings made by Bimal and write the balance 2,8,000. So this is how we can prepare imaginary capital accounts of two partners with the five transactions. And one more practical oriented question can be asked from this chapter. That question will be on uh, you know preparation of a profit and loss appropriation account with the five imaginary figures. So we can prepare profit and loss appropriation account here taking any two partners. So I will write the format profit and loss appropriation account for the year ended 31st March 2018 credit side debit side particulars amount rupees particulars amount rupees so as a first item we can write net to profit transferred from net to, uh, i mean uh, profit and loss account to this account so entry will be profit and loss account debit to profit and loss appropriation account that will come on the credit side as profit and loss account amount say rupees 49,000. So next for charging interest interest on capital uh, it is you know uh, allowed on capital of partners you know say there are two partners x and y x with the rupees 30,000 capital and rate of interest at 5 percent per annum amount comes to 1500 y with the capitals of rupees 20,000 and rate of interest say 5 percent interest on capital of y comes to rupees 1000 and uh, next item say salary to x uh, rupees 6000 next uh, for example commission to y 4000 next is uh, interest on drawings 
x and y, x say rupees 750 and y say 250. So, we have taken uh, you know 5 imaginary transactions in this profit and loss appropriation account. Let us you know uh, find the total and distribute uh, final profit or final loss whatever we get in this problem. So, on the credit side we have 49,000 and 750, 250, 50,000 and the debit side is less than that. So, credit side total is 50,000 take that 50,000 to debit side deduct you know uh, 6, 4, 6, 4, 10, 12,500 from 50,000 you get 37,500. So, final profit is there we have to transfer that to partners capital account with the journal entry profit and loss appropriation account debit to profit and I mean uh, uh, partners capital account x y say their profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 2 divide 37,500 in the ratio of 3 is to 2 among x and y here you get uh, 22,500 and uh, for y 37,500 into 2 by 5 you get 15,000 and total will be 37,500. So, this is how uh, we can prepare uh, an imaginary profit and loss appropriation account with the uh, two partners with the five imaginary items or transactions. So, that is all for uh, this chapter. Thank you.